They call him the bandit. And Daniel Bertiome has set his sights on stealing a spot with the Senators. Well, Daniel's very quick. I mean, he gets into the game mentally, and uh, uh, when he relies on his reflexes, and when he's on, he's funny. He shows his teammates that he's going to do it with a lot of acrobatic saves. And, uh, uh, but again, he's, he's a reflex goaltender, and uh, he's bounces around the net a lot, which shows that he's very enthusiastic, and uh, then he's into the game. Bertiome is well known to NHL fans. He's played on four other teams. But after failing to reach an agreement with the Senators this summer, he opted for the Austrian Elite League. But now he's back, back in the bigs, back where the hockey is better. The players are faster, the shots are harder. But uh, there's also a lot of good players in Austria. Uh, John Chabot was there in Napier. Uh, this, you know, there, there was a good caliber, and uh, it was a good experience. In fact, Bertiome has experienced a lot in his career. He's talented, but flaky. For example, during last year's playoffs, he bolted on both Boston and Bonitz, who at the time was the Bruins head coach. Well, I think uh, me and Rick know each other for six years now. I think uh, what happened in Boston, it's uh, water under the bridge, and uh, we talk to each other, and everything's fine, and uh, we just want to win some hockey game for the Senator. Well, let's see. If he stops the puck, you live with it. I mean, that's the bottom line here. Whether he's a flake or not, doesn't matter. The bottom line is stopping the puck. And this could well be the last stop for the bandit as he tries to prove his troublesome reputation wrong. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.